Welcome back everyone to TV5 News at 9. It is time now for Legally Speaking and we have Attorney Carol Thomas with us. So Attorney Thomas, thanks for being here. Thank you. It's great to be back. Blake. Yes, we love having you. Okay, we want to get into elder law, estate planning, trust, just planning for your future. So could you just talk about some definitions commonly used in elder law? Yes, thank you, Blake. So the number one thing I want to talk about is the difference between Medicare and Medicaid. Mm. And it's a huge difference and I think people need to understand what the difference is. Medicare is the health insurance that's for individuals 65 years of age and older or if someone is disabled. Mm. But Medicare typically only pays for hospitals and for physicians charges. They don't pay for nursing homes. At the most they may pay for 20 to 30 days. That shocks people because if they need nursing home, Medicare won't help them. Uh -huh. That's where Medicaid comes in and as an elder law attorney, we get clients eligible for Medicaid to pay the bill even if people have a lot of assets, have a cottage, whatever. So that's the purpose of Medicaid in nursing homes. Very good, thank you. And speaking of nursing homes, there's a difference between that long-term care, assisted living, independent living. Why does that matter? It makes a huge difference. We can get the state of Michigan, Medicaid, to pay for long-term care. And long-term care is basically what is for individuals that have acute medical needs, maybe a chronic illness, but they need some type of medical care. We typically cannot get the state of Michigan to help pay for assisted living. Mm -hmm. Assisted living is where someone can still pretty much live on their own, but they might need help with daily tasks, not medical help, right. but maybe help showering or mm -hmm. some basic needs like that. Independent living is where you can make your own decisions and handle everything on your own, but maybe they'll prepare meals for you. So it's great for socialization too. Yeah, absolutely. And we wanna know the difference between a will and a trust and why that's important to your future. Okay, a will, only works after you die. Okay. And a lot of people really aren't aware of that, Blake, because I'll have individuals come to me and say, Mom just went in a nursing home, but she has a will. Well, since the will only works after you die, mm. that doesn't help us at all. A trust lives with you, and typically an elder law attorney will do a revocable living trust that lives with you, mm. and that can help us protect assets. And oh my goodness, Blake, it's so important for married couples, if they have a home, to put it in a trust don't do a ladybird deed, yeah. have your home in a trust that can help us get the assets protected. Yeah, and I love that. You bring up that always when we talk about that, uh, the ladybird deed, you say, not in this situation at least. <laughs> no, a ladybird deed for estate planning purposes, an elder law attorney will not do that because it can really cause delays in getting me Medicaid. And sometimes, I just had a case, we're not able to get Medicaid mm. because of the Lady Bird deed. Right. So it's just so much better to have a trust. So you said couples too. Is there any differences between Medicaid planning or any planning for future between single individuals and maybe married couples? Yes, huge difference. And believe me, Blake, when people come to my seminars, they're not happy when they hear there's a difference. Mm. But the law is, it is different. For a married couple, we are able to save 100% of the assets, and that is wonderful. Because say you're only 60 years old, 65 years old, and if your spouse needs a nursing home, you don't want to lose your life savings. Yeah. For someone who's single when they enter a nursing home, on the average, we save 60%. Mm. But that's better than what the state would allow on its own. The state says you can only keep $2,000. That's surprising to a lot of people. You've worked your whole life, and if you're single, it all has to be spent on long-term care if you wow. need nursing home. That's an, a little eye-opening, I should say. Anything um, else you want us to know? This has been so informative. Well, thank you, Blake. No, I just really want to emphasize the importance of getting documents done. And I know I say that almost every time, yeah. but still, people come in, they don't have documents, and then they expect me to help them save their assets, and it can get much more difficult, if not impossible. Right. All right. Well, good to have you on and giving us this heads up. Thanks thank for you, being Blake. here. You're Thanks, welcome. Thanks, Blake. And if you want any more information, you can always head over to the hot link section on our website at WNEM.com.